Hey guys, so I just recently released a free cinematic lot that you can use to test on your footage or just use on your footage in general. I get a lot of questions in terms of my lots and if they work on different cameras and different drones on different kinds of footage. And I decided to just make a lot so that you can download it for free and test it out and see if you like it. And within the next coming weeks, my two current blood packs that are packed with a lot of nice lots already will be updated with a series of cinematic lots as well and there will be a separate pack selling some of those cinematic lots too so if you like this one stay tuned for that if you download the free lot down in the description that we're going to use in this video you also get a pretty good price on those lots when they release so there is that and yeah let's get to it in this video, we're going to use Premiere Pro as software that I haven't used for months, but I know that a lot of people still use it. And even though I'm the biggest fan of DaVinci Resolve and I have another video showing you how to use this slot with DaVinci Resolve, I thought I would make one for Premiere Pro as well, since a lot of you guys use that. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and let me show you how to use this slot. All right, guys, we are inside Premiere Pro now and we have two timelines. The first one is for a lock clip that I shot on my Canon. R6 and the other one is a Rec 9 clip from the GoPro because the lot that I have created, the cinematic lot, has two different versions. One that works best for lock, but you still need to convert it first, and then one that works best for Rec 9. So let me show you how it works. The first thing we want to do is that we have our clip in the timeline now. Let me just give us a little bit more space to work with. Now, I've just made some adjustment layers. You just right click, new item, adjustment layer. I just named them so to make it easier for myself. I'll drag this 4K one because it's a 4K timeline. Drag it out and I'll actually just duplicate it right away because our top layer is where we want to make our Rec 709 conversion. So I'll just go into my input lot. I already have downloaded my Cinema Gamut Canon Log 3 to Rec 709 conversion lot from Canon's own site. Whatever camera you have, you can probably download something similar from your camera manufacturer. So that's what I'm going to use. Now that was the top layer. And the reason for that is that we want our lot to work before we convert it. So everything that happens underneath this layer now will not be affected by the Rec. 709 before it converts it. I hope that makes sense. So now we have converted our footage and you can see that it looks pretty OK, but still very flat. So that's where our cinematic lot comes in and the uh, input lot that you use for converting, you want to do that in the basic corrections. Now, if you jump into our bottom adjustment layer, we don't want to use the basic corrections. We want to go into creative and select our look. So let's browse through and find the lot. And it is here, the base center for lock. And we open that and straight away, you will see that it turns the footage a lot more cinematic. Now, if we turn off our Rec. 709 conversion, it will still look very flat. And if we decided to pull it up on top, it won't look as good. It, won't, it will look a little bit too overexposed. So that's why we wanted to have our Rec. 709 conversion on the top. And the only thing I want to do here is that I actually want to lower the exposure just a little bit. And we could do that on this layer instead. Let's just lower the exposure ever so slightly to make it a little bit more cinematic. And there we go. Super easy basically just one click you don't even have to adjust the exposure but depending on your clip that might be necessary to expose it up or down or you can play around with the highlights and the shadows the whites and the blacks as well depending on how your shot looks but that's super easy it's been developed so that it's supposed to work straight out of the box more or less you just have to convert the footage yourself because otherwise i would have to make a lot of lots and usually don't work for all cameras anyway so that's an easy way to do that now Let's jump onto our Rec. 709. This is shot on the GoPro Hero 10, I believe, which is shot that sent to me, so that's why I'm not entirely sure. But a pretty decent shot already. This is definitely usable just straight out the bat, but we'll just use one adjustment layer for this because it's already in Rec. 709. So I'll just go into our creative look and browse and then choose our Rec. 709. Apply that, and it might look a little bit too strong, so we can either turn down the intensity or we can leave the intensity here and we can turn up the exposure a little bit or perhaps even just play around with the shadows and maybe turn down the highlights a little bit and there we go with one click and two sliders we went from this to this it may still be a little bit too strong but 
essentially you can play around with the settings and that's how it will work for you. So I'm super stoked about how this turned out and I really hope that you like it too. It's super simple to apply and as said, you can find it down in the description here. The only thing that I require for you is your first name and your email address. I promise not to spam you with a lot of emails, but I will send you first of all the lot, of course, and then I might send you a little bit of promotional information sometimes when I have new lots coming out. I might ask you for feedback on this lot specifically as well, because I want to make the best things for you guys and I don't want you to waste any kind of money or anything. I want you to be happy with whatever you get from me. I want to provide as much value as possible. So I promise not to spam you, but that's all I'm asking in return for this free lot. So I hope you download it and I hope you enjoy it. And I always love to hear from you guys. So reach out to me on Instagram, shoot a comment down here or send me an email and let me know what you think. So that's it for today. A quick one. Have fun guys and stay tuned for the next one. Take care.